This is my host father. His job is a staff of plant science. He helps the work of plant sciences researcher and research students. Also, he suggested us for conducting our project and arranged our site visit. Global warming is now a serious problem in the world. Greenhouse gas is not only CO2 but also CO2. Thus, we need to reduce the amount of not only CO2 but also CO2 to stop global warming. How does CO2 produce in an environment? The process of producing CO2 in an environment is to produce from soil, to release directly from roots of rice and to be decomposed rice straw remaining in soil. California is famous for rice farming. Therefore, it is better way that organic substances which produce CH4 are efficiently removed to improve global warming. The purpose of plant science research is to reduce the amount of greenhouse gas such as CH4 which is released from rice fields. The researchers use rice fields in Sacramento Valley that produce rice and make an investigation into greenhouse emission. My host father frequently went to Sacramento Valley on behalf of the research project. Plant science researchers study in the lab and greenhouse. There are a lot of greenhouses which are available to various researchers in campus of Davis. The campus has more than 200 greenhouses. Vegetables and rice are grown as greenhouses. The temperature and moisture are controlled automatically in the greenhouses. Water is drawn from underground at the pump room and is provided into each of greenhouses. With using greenhouses, the researchers can conduct a research in winter. Student farm is community where students work to create, maintain, and explore sustainable food systems. At the farm, students grow in many ways, learning from seasoned field-based educators, from their peers, and from themselves. They brought up a lot of plants at student farm. For example, broccoli, cherry, lavender, herb, and coriander. The farm was bigger than I thought. The university surrounded by nature is suitable to run agriculture. We ate yellow flower. We were surprised at eating flower. We were able to use it as a decoration of a dish. They don't use pesticide to grow crops, so it is safe for us to eat. In Student Farm, UCD students teach the local elementary school students the importance of nature. Davis students manage this project for themselves. The elementary students are satisfied with this project, so they often participate in it. With doing activity together, Davis students get interested in agriculture and polish this ability to make plants. From this experience, they can learn the ability to proceed with a project. Also, it is so these activities influence development of the town in Davis. To open long-term social events such as farmers market needs the unity of citizens. Therefore, student activity permeates the consciousness of local people. Hello, we researched genetically modified food in Davis. We could know the real role of it throughout this research. First, GMOs can help malnourish children. For example, golden rice are made by using genetically modified technology. It includes high nutrition. Just one cup of golden rice per day will save the lives of thousands of children. So, this technology is important in especially poor countries. Second, GMO can help farmers. There are many farmers who are suffering from natural phenomena such as drought, pest, disease, and disaster. Moreover, 40% of the potential harvest is disappeared in annual because of such things. For example, some rice farmers have the problems of floods. Usual rice cannot withstand if it is flooded for three days. However, genetically modified rice can withstand two weeks when fields are flooded. 
This can help the life of farmers. For another example, in Hawaii, there is papaya that is infected with papaya ring spot birth. Now, there is no solution except for genetically modified technology. In addition, this technology can reduce the amount of pesticide to one tenth. As described above, GMOs have many advantages to help humans and the food problems. However, some people have bad impression and worry about the safety of GMOs. Therefore, people should be given the right to choose their food. So, we took questionnaires in Davis and Japan. We asked the people in the labeling needed. 100% of people in both countries answered yes. In other words, people want to know the right information about their food. So, the company should label with product and the labeling should be mandated in all over the world. However, people should not deny GMOs without understanding the real role of it. Your base race prejudice for GMOs may take away someone's lives. So, we have to think more seriously about the foods that we eat in daily life and do everything we can to help the environment and the humans. Thank you for listening.